Hey, Trevor, what do you got? Kaldheim set box. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Angry Iceberg here, and Trevor is joining me once again on the channel. And what do we got today? Of course, we saw the intro, so we already know. So, at any rate, let me see what you got there, man. Called I'm Set Box. Another Called I'm Set Box. And, of course, Trevor's being super awesome to allow me to open up his box. So, we're going to... The nice thing about this, we get to see his reaction to what we pull. And so, hopefully, you guys... I mean, my video, my call them set box video is already up actually i have two of them up so far but the one we ordered three of them together uh, myself uh, trevor and also nick and so we ordered ordered them together and this is the one that he he got and so hopefully his is even better than mine well i mean i would feel bad if mine was like the best one even though we hit we'd really have no way of knowing it's just you know it's just how it goes but ultimately i feel like uh, just the luck actually goes to my friends. I, I, I think they're gonna have better luck than I did, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what we have. Of course, in Kaldheim, the Kaldheim set boxes, you get one art card every box. You're guaranteed a foil. One in four is a set card from one of a card from uh, his, you know one of Magic the Gathering's uh, sets history sets. I'm saying that all wrong. And then of course you you know you could have up up to four rares slash mythics in each box or in each pack rather so hopefully we hit a lot of mythics hopefully we hit a lot of good set cards because some of them uh, are pretty pretty valuable and uh, if you watched my video i actually had a couple of the set cards that were you know in the you know 13 to 17 dollar range so that was pretty good and there was and then we had some other ones so Good luck to Trevor. Well, you know, the nice thing again about this video is this is, I'm getting to the point where I know a lot of the good cards in Kaldheim ones to get excited about. And so, um, all right, Trevor, which which pile should we start at? Start in. Let's start, uh, we'll start on the left. Start on the left, all right. Seems like, and now, all right, real quick though, before we do, I wanna see, like my, my box was made in the USA. This one's also made in the USA. It makes sense because they came from the same place. So these should be a bit better quality than the I've I've heard the ones that were made in Japan like are lacking a little bit of quality. Oh, and we hit a set card right off the bat. That's a good way to go. And of course, I'm going to be uh convincing Trevor and Nick to give me all their art cards that they that I don't already have. Fortunately, well this one I already have. This one I already have, but it's still pretty good. Pretty cool card. These are I just think they're so beautiful, man. This one's Not Vold Slumber Mound by Simon Dominic. Uh, very cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. One thing we're also going to be looking for is gold stamped cards. Those ones can actually be pretty valuable. There's one if you get the if you get um if you get the World Tree one, I saw a listing of over $200 for that one. I mean, uh, $2. You don't want that one. You yeah. want to give that one to me if you get it. But um yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah, the art cards are pretty great. All right, so we'll just set the art cards over here. Uh, and then we'll just go through the commons real quick like. And Inner Immer Storm Skullharn. Carter's Vicious Return, those sagas. Yeah, that's a pretty cool looking saga as well. That, that art's always pretty cool. And Burning Rune Demon. Man, right off the bat, we got a set card in the back and we also have a mythic. This is a mythic, buddy. Flying when Burning Rune Demon enters the battlefield, you may search your library for exactly two cards not named Burning Rune Demon that have different names. If you do reveal those cards, an opponent chooses one of them, put the chosen card into your hand and the other into your graveyard, and then shuffle your library. A 6 6 flying for six, and uh, you get to uh, put one in your hand. I mean, your opponent gets to choose, but the other one goes in your graveyard, and a lot of times you're going to be playing with some graveyard, graveyard recursion. Get a free card out of it. Yep. Uh, Carter Doom Scourge is a really cool, really cool. Un it's uncommon, but this is a showcase uh, version of the uncommon. And then Wither Crown. I actually had this this in mind as well. It's pretty cool. And Skyclave Shade, a rare. And that is that's actually from Zendikar. Uh, that's a Zendikar Rising 
Uh, I actually know that because, you know, that's one of the few symbols that I, of the newer symbols I know. But that is a showcase rare Skyclave shade. So, uh, not too bad. Not a, not a bad first pack, man. You got a Mythic and you got the set Skyclave shade. Pretty good. Pretty good. Good start. All right. Um, all right. So now, moving on to, I'm going to move the cones here. Do like this. Try to keep these sorted for you. I like to sort them. I don't know. I like to be able to dragon token. Cool. Uh, anyway, um, here we got another one. I'm pretty sure I have. Oh, this is Valky. Of course, this is Valky. Nice. That's a cool one. I already have that one too, but that's a pretty dope art. That's, of that's course, cool. Valky. The Valky slash Tibalt modal double sided card is. Uh, worth a lot of money, actually. This, you know, these art cars aren't nearly worth as much, but uh, those are still, I think they were right around that $25 range if you actually get that card. Um, so hopefully you do. It's a really great card. Agar, Agar, Certainland, Frostpire, Old Growth Troll. You know, this one is actually, I feel like it's undervalued. This is actually a pretty dope card. 3-3, three, three, or I'm sorry, a 4-4 four, four for 3 green as Trample. And if it dies, it turns into a land. And then you can sacrifice that land and create a 4-4 Troll Warrior creature token with Trample. So, like, he dies, you, you can either uh, tap tap the land for two mana, or you can sacrifice, pay one and sacrifice and get him back, essentially, for a turn. So, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, no, that's really good. Oh, and then we got Blood on the Snow for a foil rare. This is actually a really good uh, foil rare, too. So what we have here, we have choose one, destroy all creatures. Okay. Destroy all planeswalkers, if you say so. And then return a creature or planeswalker from uh, with converted mana cost X or uh, X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield where X is the amount of snow mana spent to cast this spell. So if you're using a lot of snow mana sources and you cost six, you could really bring a big dude out. So destroy all creatures and then bring your own big dude out. Oof. That's actually pretty like that good. One, yeah. That one might that might might have some value. It uh, might be like in the four or five dollar range, I imagine. I don't know. I'm um, not really sure on that one. I don't even know if I have that card. I might I might have the regular, but I definitely don't have the foil. That is that is a cool card right there. Alrighty. All right. So there's Egon, God of Death. I know that card. That's pretty cool art. Uh, that is from Jason A. Engel pretty great one there that's cool yeah that is really cool uh i and i do i think i have all these so far but i mean i've got two boxes worth so i don't know we need to find ones that i don't have so i can get them from you <laughs> 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 all right uh i should have worthy great Ho this this is a pretty cool land i like the art too great hall of starnheim ramp rampage of the valkyries starnheim aspirant Useful Valkyrie, lots of uncommons in this pack, and Reckless Crew. I know you already have this one. Mm -hmm. I'm not even sure if I have this one, but it's Create X21 Red Dwarf Berserker Creature Tokens, where X is the number of vehicles you control. I know you were talking about vehicles before we recorded this. So this might be something you'd be interested in. Uh, plus the number of equipment you control for each of those tokens, you may attach an equipment you control or you control to it. So that's actually pretty cool uh, for the right deck. And then Waking the Trolls. A rare saga, and again, these sagas don't hold a lot of value, but they're just a lot of fun to play with. Uh, even though they're rare, they're you know, and that or depends on which one you're talking. Anywhere between like thirty cents and like seventy-five cents, but um, it's if, if you're talking about just monetary value. But destroy target land, uh, put target land card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control, and choose target opponent if they control fewer lands than you. Create a number of 4-4 green troll warrior creature tokens with trample equal to the difference. This is one that you would definitely, if you were playing a green, a red-green uh, commander, this would be one that would be really handy in commander. So. Uh, Zavala Ice Shaper is actually a pretty cool uncommon. And a Demon Bolt. I've actually, this is the third foil Demon Bolt that I've opened. It's actually a cool foil. I like how the foiling works in this one. Um, it's it's a, it's a common, but it's, I mean, it's, it's just crazy that, yeah, that all three, you know, that all three of the, the set boxes I've opened have them. All right, we got another set card. Got another set card. Okay, I do have, I do have this one, actually. This is really cool art, though, too. Like, really neat art. Halvar, 
God of Battle by Lai Sitiawan. They always have these. A lot of these artists have really crazy names that I can't pronounce. Anyway, um, like I said, I love the art cards. They're just so beautiful. All right. Uh, where are we at? All right. Already in to the lands and uncommons. There are three seasons. Path to the World Tree. The Trickster's God. The Trickster God's Heist. Oh, dude. This is a good card. This one here actually, I think, has some value. And you got the... This is a uh, borderless full art. Create two 1-1 one, one blue bird creature tokens with flying. Take an extra turn after this one. Wow. And exile Almond's, uh, All Runs Epiphany. You can foretell it and you know to make it a little bit cheaper like by one but still uh, you get to take an extra turn so this is actually i have i have this card but it's not this pretty oh uh, you know this not this not this pretty it's this is this is a very nice card and i think it does have, hold some value but i could be wrong uh, but it's a you know it might be in the you know tens or teens or something in that area uh, but it might be a little less but still that is actually a really really good card uh, maja bright guard and for that's a Showcase and Jespera Sentinel. And, oops, this is not where that goes. Oh, yeah, it is. All right, and so for your set card, you have a Latchkey Fairy. Flying Prowess is a common, but still. Still set cards from an old set, so pretty neat. All right, let's see. I wish that all the set cards were like rares and mythics, but they're not. They're not. And the first, the first box I opened, I didn't actually even get a rare uh, set card. It was um, just all commons and uncommons, even though I did get a Time Spiral remastered, which is a set hasn't even come out yet. All right, so this is a pretty cool art card. Again, I already have this one, but Orvar the Allform. The artist's name is DZO. That's just kind of what it is. That's a lot simpler. Yeah. <laughs> but still, I wish the camera would actually focus on it because it's really cool. I don't. I think it's like there. I don't see no faces. There we go. That's a little better. That's a pretty cool good card. All right, Arctic Tree Line for a dual land comes into tap foil land going on there. So you got two foils in this pack. Uh, Invasion of the Giants, Fire Giants Fury, and Rise of the Dreadmarn. It's a very cool card. So, you know, like zombies. This is this is be one right there for you. Create X two twos not black zombies berserker creature tokens, where X is the number of non-token creatures that died this turn, and you can foretell it. Um, and this is actually I really I like this land. I mean, it's there's there's better options, but it's still a pretty good land. Snowland. Yeah, it's a uh, yeah, it's a snowland, uh, but it comes into play tapped. But you can choose a color and you can add one mana of that color, so you can like if you say you know you're hurting for a single color then you know you can use that for that uh iron verdict for the foil not a bad card especially like unlimited because you can foretell it's cost three you can foretell it for one and you know bring it out basically it's an instant speed so you can bring it out for one white mana if it's foretold and it deals five damage to target tapped creatures so if something something attacks you or taps for any reason you can just you know kill it if you if it can only takes five damage so uh, pretty solid and limited. I don't know how much it would ever get played in like constructed, but still a pretty pretty cool card, nonetheless. And it is foil. Ooh, now that one that one's pretty. There we go. Again, let's see. This one is Resplendent Marshal. I, okay, I do think I have that one actually, but we, we I don't think we've come across one that I don't have. I might be wrong now. I might not have the Resplendent Marshal. That's pretty good though. Uh, the artist is Ryan Pancoast. All right, uh, let's see. Drug Recruiter. All right, Valkyrie Sword. Still another. I just absolutely love that art. It just remi it reminds me so so much of like old it's magic 80s. art. Yeah. Uh, Shepherd of the Cosmos, Clarion Spirit, and another Reckless Crew. <laughs> <laughs> so again, the vehicles. I mean. Oh, Narfi Betrayer King is actually a pretty good uncommon as well. And Raven Wings, an equipment to give somebody uh, your creatures flying. Not a bad, not a bad card there. 
And again, that's really good in, in limited as well, because I mean, evasion flying is always so important in limited, or it can be, at least it used to be. Maybe it's not as much anymore, but the old, the old theory or the old idea back when I played a lot is when it came to like drafts and sealed having evasion, whether it be, um, whether it be flying or like they had like shadow and all these other other ones that was always really useful. All right, Toski, that's actually a pretty cool card. I mean, the the actual card is really cool. The artwork's pretty dope. That's just a mean looking squirrel. See it? See the squirrel with his little crown thing going on? I don't know. But this guy's in, ruins back on there. That's cool. Yeah, man, he's got indestructible. Anyway, it's a cool, it's a cool card. Um, I again, I have this one, but Jason Rainville made that particular piece of art. Very cool. Um, I put these in the wrong pile. Let's see. There. Okay. So again, you have your snowland, so you'll be able to keep those. All right, Divine Gambit, Spectral Steel, Axe Guard Armory, and a Hengate Pathway. Very solid. These pathways are really good, and I just lost my audio for some reason. There we go. Uh, Hengate Pathways are pretty cool because, you know, you can either use it as a plains or as a, an island. So these are these are worth, like, between, you know, this particular version is, like, like three bucks, something like that. Um, but it's, it's still really good because you can use it and blue white decks and just like whichever one you need there you go and it doesn't even come into play taps which is which is a nice nice uh bonus there beautiful marit of the frost nice showcase foil that is actually really pretty that is really nice and it's got changeling i think that there's ways that people are going to be able to use marit of the frost very good pull there all right, so we need we need we've done okay though with uh, you know we haven't seen the the big the big hitters. All runs Epiphany is I th I'm thinking is our is our big hitter so far. It's, it's a really good hit. Uh, we want to see we want to see some Valkyries. We want to see some Vornclexes. We want to see some some other stuff. Another one I have, but this is still a pretty cool art with that wolf. Just how look how good that wolf is is uh, made there. Just howling. I mean, you you live here well, especially today as we're recording this. It is really cold outside, cold. so you can definitely just feel the temperature in that picture. You can yeah. just sense it. All right, let's get to the good stuff here. Dual strike, the world tree. Half five. Boom. I think you were the only one of the four of us who. Uh oh. I lost my camera. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it came back. It came back. It was um, so excited. Yeah, it was just like, dude, I'm out of here. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I think you were the only one of the four of us that didn't get a world tree in your in your opening pack, your uh, your pre-release kits. Yeah. And so, yeah, very good card, very good pull there. Uh, Cole, the Forge Master, another good showcase, uncommon, but still pretty good. And a Grizzled Outrider, common foil there. But yeah, World Tree, very solid pull. Very solid card right there. Another beautiful one there. Let's see what we got here. That's the Prismatic Bridge. Yeah, and again, we I don't think we've come across one that I don't already have, which is kind of making me sad a little bit. So I mean, I don't, I mean, there's 81 of them. And I don't even have, I don't even have half of them, I don't think. Well, maybe, maybe I have about half of them. So, um, all right, Doomscar, Titan. Uh, did my, is my, cam my camera just messing up here? Yeah, it's, it was kind of being funky. All right, time out, folks. We're going to put this here. Let me see if I can. I'm just going to unplug my camera and plug it back in. All right. Hopefully we're good now. All right, Doomscar Titan and Battle Mammoth. It's another mythic, another mythic. So your third mythic so far. So pretty, you know, doing pretty good. We're not even through a third of the box yet. Battle Mammoth, again, it does, I don't think this has quite the value of what it's worth, but it's still, you know, if you like big green stompy 
Uh, five. It's a five casting cost, six five with trample, and whenever a permanent you control becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, you get to draw a card and you can foretell it and get it out in the battlefield for four. So you can get it out around early for you know just foretelling it. So nice pull there, sculptor in winter and open um, uh, omelet pants. Um, omnip omnipaths. Pretty cool. That's a really, actually, a really cool foil. You got Tybalt just hanging out in there. That's that is cool. All right. Pack number ten. So we've got we've got three mythics already. We got a set card. So your third set card coming up. Very cool. All right. That's Fiara, the uh, angel lady, judge of valor, Liv Livia Prime. That is really cool. And again, one I have, but. Cool. Yeah, it is a really cool art card there. All right, snow covered plains, mammoth growth. All right, uh, Cole the Forge Master, Rune of Morality, and Herald unites the elves. Pretty cool. Like I said, if you like elves, uh, I think I actually put this in my. I was gonna put, was gonna think about putting this one in my. Uh, Elf deck, or the, you know, you got the commander, the elf commander deck. Yeah. Uh, this might go in there. You know, it might be a, oh, and glorious protector. Very solid. Again, I don't know this that it holds a whole lot of value. Might be worth a couple bucks, but still pretty good. Flash flying when glorious protector enters the battlefield. You may exile any number of non-angel creatures you control until the glor until glorious protector leaves the battlefield. And, and again, this is the one that I'm going to be putting in to the uh, blue-white commander deck to improve that one. So very solid, very solid. And raise the Draugr is your common foil. Oh, oh, here we go. This is cool. Oh. Now this here, this one here is from I um, Ikoria. Okay, this is this is actually, this is one of their showcase cards that uncommon. Uh, don't, I mean, there's probably not a whole lot of value here, but this is still a really cool-looking card. I mean, when you talk about cool-looking cards, Ikoria has a lot of really cool-looking cards, and it makes me want to open up more Ikoria just because the cards are are awesome. They just look cool. Just like one of the reasons why I like Kaldheim is because the art of the card is cool. Ikoria has some pretty dope art when they have, like, their, sh their showcase cards are really, really cool-looking. So, all right. Pretty decent pack there. Come on, art card I don't have. Or let's get you a gold stamp. Like, let's see that gold stamp world tree. Oh, okay. And there's, uh, we want to see, we want to see this card, but just the real card. And again, this is the one I, yeah, so this one I actually have in gold stamp. And it's, you know, the listing I saw was like 20 some dollars for the gold stamp version of this. Uh, but this one here is Vorinclex. So hopefully this is a sign we're going to see a Vorinclex. We want to see Warren Clicks, especially this version. This is the showcase version. We would love to see that. Or better yet, the Phyrexian one. That would be amazing. All right. Let's see. Right into the uncommons real quick. So Thunder Mantle Striker, Return Upon the Tide. That is actually really cool art. I like that one a lot. All right. Uh, Tegrid Shadow and Reflections of Lajara. Very solid card. I think this one is actually undervalued. I think you'll see the price of this one go up. I don't even know if it's over a dollar right now. Um, but I think that it's, it's undervalued. I think this is going to see a lot of play once people kind of figure out how to use it. And Inner Stern Protector. Uh, I think when this, or Predator, uh, when about a month ago when they started... Before before everything came out, I think this was valued a little bit higher. Now it's like under a dollar, but uh, still a cool card. Still a cool card. Sculptor of Winter and Dwarven Reinforcements. Common foil. So a couple rares there. A couple fun cards. I mean, you know, they don't have to all be worth a lot. All right. Let's see. Let me see that Phyrexian Vorinclex. Arnie Broken Brow, poor fella. Freaking horn in his <laughs> temple. That one is by Dimitri Burmak. 
and still we're, we're what 12 packs in we still ha we don't have uh, one that I don't have yet or we haven't seen one that I don't have yet there might be one in there there's there's a question there's on one, one. Gotta be. those that I don't have but Shepherd of the Cosmos Clarion Spirit and Cyclone Summoner I I'm not even sure I have this one. Uh, when Cyclone Summoner enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, return all permanents to their owner's hands except for giants, wizards, and lands. Okay. So this one actually is pretty cool. I mean, if, you, if you're building around giants, wizards, uh, giants and wizards, because there are some giant decks out there, this is actually really cool. Um... You just pop it down and you know especially if it were if it were in if you were to cast this in uh uh commander that would be pretty That's badass pretty huge, yeah. yeah just like everybody else's permanence and then you just leave out your giants and your wizards of course he would stay out there as a seven seven <laughs> big dude all right frost frost peak yeti and wings of the cosmos all right. Let's see. Let's see a majestic. Let's see a Valky or a Varn 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 Klex. Varn Klex. All right. There's Jorn, God of Winter. I know that because I have that one. But a little guy hanging out in the bag. Got another one up here. He's just kind of chilling out there in the snow. There's another one down here. Just kind of chilling. That one's by. Magali Villeneuve. Villain. I don't know. I try. I always try to pronounce that name, and I feel like I should be able to pronounce that name, but I can never pronounce that name. All right. Okay, Gonzo Hall Guardian. All right. Notvold Slumberland. Ar Arnie slays the troll. Rootless you. Zvella Ice Shaper. Lots of uncommons in here. And Skemfar Avenger. This is actually another one that's that's pretty solid. Uh, it's for it's a, a three one for two. And whenever another non-token elf or berserker you control dies, you draw a card and you lose one life. So it's nice card draw, uh, and it gets it out gets out pretty cheap. And when you're talking about elves and stuff like that, you're you know you're probably gonna be losing some elves, and so you get lots of card draw. Oh, nice, dude. Very nice. Now this is a nice one here. Uh, blight step pathway so we got black and red these are the full art pathways these ones i think they're right around that five dollar range for these uh but that is those are these are awesome i might want to trade <laughs> trade you for this uh i love these pathways especially these full art ones so solid uh boreal outrider and raiders carve you were talking about vehicles earlier here's another one for you and that's foil beautiful foil all righty next pack coming at your face okay so that's actually a pretty pretty neat art too he's just chilling out with her stuff like I said like yeah, you, you don't even dare like challenge her she's oh, yeah. got a snake be so fr I mean I can't I wouldn't be able to hold a snake she's just like chilling like just challenging you to come that one there is Kovari god of kinship by uh Gerzergers Ruthkowski man silly artists with their names okay poison the cup which I still think is pretty dope art bears of Litjara for a rare saga and replicating ring and ruined crown i think this is actually i'm gonna take a look at this one a little bit closer um i was wondering how this one was going to look in foil interesting i think that they could have maybe pronounced that crown a little bit better it'd been really dope if they could have done something to really accent the crown but still i i really like this card actually i really like that card a lot and I think it has some potential to be used in fun ways. Maybe not. We may not be tied. Oh, this one I can actually. Oh, no, I can't. I don't. I still don't know how the people rip it from the side there. I guess I'm just not strong enough. Oh, there we go. Our first gold stamp card. And that is actually really cool art, too. Let's see if we can get the focus in here. 
gold stamp those are like i said with with these art cards that's where the that's where the value is the money is in these the uh the gold stamps because you only get uh there's only a five percent chance of getting one of these so it's like one in 20 packs so you might be lucky to get two in a box you should be able to get one in a box but it's always possible you don't so maja bread guard protector by Lai setiwan setiwan so very cool like i said that's definitely one you're gonna want to set aside for sure all right or else we might we might be able to come up to a deal i might trade that off you i don't know how much that one's gonna be worth we can look it up uh figure something out figure it out yeah uh because like i said i like the art cards not everybody likes the art cards some people don't don't i uh, can't appreciate them but i appreciate them doomscar titan carder doom scourge and arnie broken brown womp womp um unfortunately as cool as arnie is it's just not very valuable uh so you guys boast you may change arnie broken brow's power base power to one plus the greatest power among other creatures you control until the end of turn so i mean there's ways i guess you could use them but i mean he just he doesn't have a whole lot of value right now uh another really cool really cool yes yeah, uh showcase and broken wings uncommon all right Come on, we're due for we're due for a mythic. Oh, we got a set card coming up. Got a set card, and Nick's here. He might be able to actually tell us where this one's from. Again, I, we still we, we haven't come across a art card that I don't have aside from the gold signed one. But this is I really like that art a lot. That is the frenzied raider by Lu, uh, Luis or Lius Lash Las Las Anyway, um, I, I'm gonna I want to be able to attribute these artists but like i can't pronounce their names man i feel bad i feel bad it's not like me trying to be a oh boom goes the dynamite right there that is a hit that is a hit my friend that is a good card comma cosmo serpent in the showcase art this i think this one just became the best one the i mean uh this one in all runs epiphany it's going to be a toss-up. I'm not sure exactly what the value is, but this is a really, 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 really good card. So, good hit there. Finally, we, I said we were due for a... We were due for a mythic. Oh, anyway. Axe Guard Braggart for... And then our, our set card, Pegasus Stampede. This goes back to... Oh, shoot. What is that? That's That goes back to my day. Is that one of the... Is that... No. Uh, is that one of the Urza's? That logo. Uh, it's got buyback, which is sacrifice the land, and put Pe Pegasus token into play. Treat this token as a one-one white creature with flying. Nick, do you recognize that symbol? I, I recognize. I just my brain isn't helping me out here. Is that one of the Ur Urzas or? That might be one of the Urzas. I think that's one of the Urzas. I could be wrong. I'm probably um yeah, but I mean that's definitely from back when I used to play. So very cool, uncommon. But still, I mean, it's cool to see these cards, even if some of them aren't really all that valuable. Some of them are, and that one might be, because some of the uncommons are actually uh, more more valuable than the rares from the list. So, and I proved that with my set box opening, actually. Oh, here we go. I again, I think I have this guy. This one's Narfi Betrayer, uh, uh, Betrayer King from Darken. Darken is the guy's name. It's pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool art. All right, Blood Sky Berserker, Vengeful Reaper, Hailstorm Valkyrie, and Resplendent Marshal. Another, another mythic, very solid card. It does have some value. Very cool card here. Flying Women, Resplendent, Resplendent Marshal enters the battlefield or dies. You may exile another creature card from your graveyard. When you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control other than Resplendent Marshal. That shares a creature type with that exiled card so that's pretty cool yeah that's a lot of text on there but that's a that's a pretty cool card there so you got so so far you got five i think i ended up with five mythics and you still have like almost half your box to go all right avalanche collar and disdainful strike for the rare uh rare foil there again still a little notch there all right another beautiful art card 
that again. Still looking for one that I haven't seen yet. Lucas Graciano, Glittering Frost. Snow Covered Swampy. Always good to have those Snow Covered Lands. Those are going to be very useful. There's lots of cards to take advantage of it. Draugr Helm. Oh, here we go. This is a good card. This is actually a really good card. And since we, we only had the one uncommon, there's got to be something else behind this. But Ascendant Spirit, actually really good. Uh, there's, there's getting a, This one's getting a lot of attention. And so um, should be pretty good. Glittering Frost. I, could, I guess I was wrong. I thought because we only had the one uncommon, they were already into... Anyway, so Draugr Recruiter, great thing. But yeah, Ascendant Spirit, another really solid card right there. One that I would not be disappointed to open a pack and see. All right. Oh, now this one I don't think I have. This one I don't think I have. Uh, it's Quakebringer, Lucas Graciano. I think that's two. Is that two Gracianos in a row? Yeah, two Lucas Graciano cards in a row. I'm going to set that one aside <laughs> because I don't think I have one. That's a really cool art card. Uh, Woodland Chasm for the foil dual land comes into tap thing. Uh, little big old spider creature with reach there. Right. Oh, and here I am putting darn. There we go. Commons on the wrong, on the wrong pile here. Frost Auger. Basalt uh, Ravager. Frostpyro Arcanist and Battle for Bredegard. You know, you these again, sagas are fun, but you know, you're hoping, always hoping for a better hit. But but when you get two, when you get two rares in the same pack, you, it feels a little bit better when you get the when you get a saga and then you get another rare, which Albus Warmaster is actually pretty decent. Again, two mana for two for a two-two. Whenever one or more other elves enters the battlefield under your control, create a 1-1 one, one green elf, elf warrior creature token. This ability triggers only once each turn. Elves you control get plus two, plus two, and gain death touch until the end of turn if you pay seven mana. So again, you're talking about, you're talking about elf, elf decks. There you go. It's one to be considering. Good, solid card there. And Bredegard Stronghold uh, for a uncommon land foil there so all right like i said i mean the you know even if even if the cards aren't coming up with the you know the highest value if they're ones that you can play and have fun with that you, you know enjoy that are in archetypes you enjoy then you know it what does it matter yeah these packs i swear to god do not open the way i want them to don't have any open easy oh they're talking about coma that's the alternate art coma it's pretty cool for Rish XXV painted or uh, created that piece of art. I shouldn't say painted. I'm not sure exactly how that was was created. So painting might not be the most accurate way to say that. So just created that piece of art. All right, Renegade Reaper, Firja Judge of Valor, and again that is such awesome art. And Redain, God of the Worthy. That is a rare. And a uh, the showcase art pretty good. The it's I means I like I like the card the 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 front of the card the the shield on the backs not so great, but you know solid. It's worth a little bit. It's not has it doesn't have a ton of monetary value, but it's still a pretty cool card. All right, and Shimmer Drift Veil again. That's that one I was talking about earlier. I think is a really cool cool land. All right, moving on to the last pile. Still waiting on Valky. Still waiting on Vornclex. And all the other good stuff here. Okay. Oops. There's our art card, which is Toralt, God of Fury by Tyler Jacobson. That's one I, ha I have as well. Man, we're not. We're just not getting all the ones I want. All right, Snow <laughs> Snowfield Stinkle. Here I am being all, being all like a jerk. It's like these aren't cards I want. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's like they're not even my cards. That's this my deck point. Sucks. It's like, yeah, this box is the worst. Glad it's not mine. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, um, Crush the Weak. Elven Bow. Actually, pretty solid card. Uh, Provoke the Trolls, which is actually, I like that art as well. And Rise of the Dreadmarn. Your second Rise of the Dreadmarn. And, and again, Zombie Dex. Good card. And Grim Draugr. And you got a foil. 
Got a foil rare uh, Saga, so not too bad. Again, Sagas aren't worth that much. We talk about this very often. Actually, that's a really cool... I don't know if really paid much attention to the Demon Berserker token, but that's pretty cool. Man, even like I said, even the tokens have cool art. Alrighty. There's a Vorinclex. So now you got both both Vorinclexes art cards. As far as the you got the uh, the regular Vorinclex and the alternate showcase version. Unfortunately, so do I. But um. All right. Elder Fang Ritualist. Oh, there we go. Nice, solid hit. Kaya the Inexorable. That is a Mythic Planeswalker. Very cool. Very cool card right there. So you've already got more Mythics than I got out of my out of my box. So there is that. Uh, Spirit of Aldergard and Root of Roots of Wisdom. Though you are getting more of these garbage, like just waste of cardboard cards <laughs> i am these here like they're just nah. yeah i mean you know at least get a token on them it needs to be like if then i then i don't feel oh we got a set card talk about like sitting there and hey squirrel all right again another cool piece of art you can just feel the cold there uh port of court carvel mauricio Kale goes in the pile which i already know i have um oh already into the uncommons two commons and then already in the uncommons so the center of the worthy great hall of starnheim rampage of the valkyries starnheim aspirant youthful valkyrie valkyrie sword so again you know these the one thing that if, you, if you're not noticing if i haven't mentioned already is that the commons and uncommons do come in a theme so uh thus all these other together unfortunately the the rare well fortunately or unfortunately the rare doesn't but draugr necromancer this is actually a really cool card as well i like this card i don't think i think it's undervalued i think it'll actually come up maybe a little bit um but again i i really do like this card and i think i only have one of them so far so it might be a trade bait uh certain elementalist is is pretty is kind of a bulk rare not really all that valuable but now that that dogged pursuit now that is actually it's kind of, I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, but that is actually a pretty neat rare. Because the, you can see her blades, Kaya's blades there are, are accented, which I think is really, really cool. And then, of course, you have the two poor skeletons on there just hugging because they're dead, I guess. Um, mood eating, moon eating dog. As long as you control a Yanlin. Lianling Planeswalker, Moon Eating Dog has flying. Okay. Do you, any idea what, what that set is, Nick? There. You got Nick over here. Just, I mean, you guys can't see him obviously on camera, but he's been, he's been around during the more recent sets, so I've never, I've never seen that, that emblem. I don't even know what the what the heck it's talking about. <laughs> so Yeah, it's like a little mountain or something. I don't know. It'll be something to look look up after after the video is done. Okay. Be something who who can be the first to tell me who, where that is where that's from in the in the comments. Oh, there's another coma. There's the other coma uh, art card. Yep. I think I have that one too, but uh, another foil dual land that comes into play tapped. Uh, we got some dwarves and stuff. Spectral steel, axe guard armory, and Cole the Forge Master. Rune of oh, there we go. Very solid. Toski, bearer of secrets. There you go. That's actually the showcased art. That is really cool. Again, I think that we're gonna see this card. I think this card's currently undervalued and. You know, especially the showcase, but I think we're going to see this one come up because I think people are going to start playing this and be looking for that particular card. And so, very good. I think that's a very good hit right there. Inga Rune Eyes, another really cool showcase card. Uncommon. Um, you know, if we get focused on her. But another really good-looking card. And Masked Vandal for the foil. All right. 
Oh, and there my computer goes to sleep. Or the, the monitors do, anyway. So hopefully, I don't think it's gonna affect the, the actual video itself. Now this one, I don't think I have. Now this art card, I don't think I have. Okay, pretty sure I don't have this one. So we'll go, this will go in the, I'm pretty sure I don't have it file. Uh, Blizzard Brawl by Manuel Castagnon. Very cool. That dude looks like, I mean, that bear is gigantic. <laughs> but he's got a big X! He's standing there like, oh, I can take you. Whatever. Alright. What do we got here? Boreal Outrider, Elven Ambush, Herald, King of Skimfar, and Blood on the Snow. Again, we talked about you have the uh, foil version, now you have the regular version. It's a pretty dope card. Frostbite, and Carfell, Carnell, Kennel, Carfell, Kennelmaster for common foil. All right, so probably not looking too good for Vornclex or, oh, we got a set card. Ooh, shiny. Um, not looking good for Vornclex or Valky, but, oh, hey, speaking of, speaking of that uh, foil we were just looking at, there's a little bit closer up look. I may not have this one either, actually, but maybe I do. So I do remember talking about this one. This one's uh, Dogged Pursuit, Jason Rainville. I'm gonna put that in the, the pile that I, maybe stuff I don't have, just in case. I uh, can look that one up. Lajar Kinseekers. Demon Bolt. All right, Renegade Reaper, Cosmos Elixir. This is actually a pretty good card. At the beginning of your end step, draw a card. If your life total is greater, than your starting life total, total. Otherwise, you gain two life. Wow. So, yeah, actually pretty solid. Oh, boing! That is a good hit right there. Tibalt's Trickery, very solid card. There's a lot of people looking for that one. People are breaking this card in like modern, absolutely breaking it. And people are trying to break it. Um, Icebind Pillar and Horizon Seeker. Oh, and this is a rare Bone Horde. Rare, yeah, rare uh, Bone Horde artifact for four living weapon. When equipment enters the battlefield, create a zero zero black uh, Gorm creature token, then attach it to it. Equipped creature gets X plus X plus X, where X is the number of creature cards in all graveyards. Solid. Solid. What sets that from, Nick? You know? There we go. Nice. So you got two rares, two rares out of your out of your sets, or your set uh, cards. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. You should have one more coming, I think, unless you're just unlucky. Okay. All right. Very cool. So yeah, we got one, two, three. Yep, six six set cards. So it should be should be one more if odds prevail. There should be one more set card in here, hopefully. I mean, you can get more, potentially, but it's one in four is the odds. Vega, I think it's Vega, right? Yeah, yeah. Vega the Watcher. It's actually a pretty cool owl. I actually like, I like the, there's the uh, showcase foil is actually really cool for this card from DZO. Um, I think I have that one. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. All right. Um, all right, Finn the Fang Bear. Again, a lot of people are starting to try to make decks around this. I watched I watched a couple videos where people are trying to make decks around Finn the Fang Bear. Uh, Binding the Old Gods and Doomscar. Very solid hit right here. Doomscar is destroy all creatures. It's a board wipe. You know, if you're playing wipe, you're, you're white. You're probably going to play this. You can foretell it and just have it hanging out until you want to use it and pay only have to pay three. Otherwise you can cast it for five at any time, you know, during as a sorcery. So very cool, very cool card. And then the shimmering veil and invoke the divine. Okay. All right. Last three packs. So we've, we've had some pretty good hits in the, re in the most recent packs, pretty solid rares. Okay, and there's there you have your 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 gold uh, stamped one. There's just the regular one. 
I do have that one, I believe. So I'll put that in the habit, the habit pile. All right, Skimfar Elder Hall, Skimfar Shadow Sage, and Egon, a God of Death. Now this card is actually really, really cool, and it might be undervalued. I think it's actually gone under a dollar now. Uh, I could be wrong, uh, but it's still actually a really, really cool card, and could see, you know, could see a resurgence. Especially, I really like the, uh, I really, really like the showcase version, which I think I, I think I have that one. Oh, nice. And speaking of showcases, we got a showcase foil of Maja Retigard Protector. And that is that is a pretty cool. It's, it's really, I think it's kind of hard to come over the, the camera, but it's, I think that's a pretty cool foil right there. Solid. Solid. Whoa, get back here. Again, these packs with their, the way that they rip open it, it's just weird. Okay, replicated ring token. See, it'd be cool if we saw this card in this pack right here. It's actually pretty cool. I mean, I have this one, but this is, this guy's really cool. It's the Gold Span Dragon by Andrew Marr. You might have already got that card, or maybe I got it in my other box. Or my other, yeah, my other box, maybe I got that one. Um, we're on a Muck. Fearja God, uh, or Judge of Valor. Very solid, I like that card. Battle of Frost and Fire. Come on, be a rare. Nope. Just the Meast Rider. And a Breakneck Berserker. So that pack could have been better. All right. <sighs> this is it, man. The last the last one. Let's cross our fingers. We want something big. Vornclex. There's your set card. So that's good. At least we, we're ending on a set card. So that'll be good. So again, you got your seven. That's been the what I've seen so far is seven. Again, that's the that's about what your average is going to be. Another beautiful art card that I actually have. Actually, I have a couple of these. I had du duplicates of this one, uh, so I know I have that one for sure. All right, Fiddle Longboat, Invoke the Divine, Battlefield Raptor, Stalwart Valkyrie, Starmheim, Starnheim Corsair, Fall of the Imposter, which is actually still. I still want to see this one in in foil. I I wonder how this one would look in foil. I bet it'd look cool. Uh, Bredegard Stronghold, Maja, Bredegard Protector. Oh, man, come on. Here, this should be our rare. Come on. Ah, oh, Old Growth Troll. You got another one. Again, I think it's undervalued. It's a really cool card. It'd be, I think it'd be a lot of fun to play with. So, I mean, I, I like this card a lot. Narfi, Betrayer King. This this here is one of my favorite, one of, one of my favorite uh, showcase cards. It's uncommon. But it's actually a really good uncommon. Uh, it could be. I've seen some videos where it's talking about this is a commander. Uh, it's a zombie. It's a zombie lord type creature. So really cool, really cool. And this this art is just just incredible. I just love that art right there. That's so cool. Revitalize for an old school spell foil and come on, be something really cool. Well, that's kind of cool. I mean, it's Stone Rain, and that is that is a uh, uh, portal. Is that what that symbol is? I think that's a portal card. That is actually really cool because that's old. That's I mean, that's old style magic. Uh, obviously, Stone Rain didn't just come in portal, but it, it must have included it in portal. I believe that's a portal thing. I'm gonna say portal one more time. Okay, portal. At any rate, so that's how we end it on a Stone Rain. Bam! So I mean, some some solid stuff there. We got a couple foil rares, uh, some pretty cool, some really cool. We got two rares out of the uh, set bot, uh, the set set slot. You got uh, six mythics, including the All Runs Epiphany uh, full art borderless card, which is really really cool. Uh, you've got you got the coma, the coma, which is I get this is this is one of my favorite new cards. Uh, the coma, uh, uh, snake dude. No, the showcase is what I'm trying to think <laughs> of. Of course, there's Spenna, and then of course the lovely Miss Kaya being extraable, and a bunch of really other really really cool rares. So, man, I think I think he did pretty good. You know, we didn't we didn't see the big guys. We didn't see the big big guys, but that's okay. You got a lot of cards. I think that you're gonna have a lot of fun playing. 
because you know we're talking about you know wanting to build elf decks and zombie decks stuff like that there's lots of fuel for that those kinds of decks in here and you're like me man you're just trying to get back into the game and kind of learn learn the the current state of the game so i think i think you did well for that and i think you're gonna have a lot of fun with these cards but uh thanks again for allowing me to the pleasure of opening these packs and thanks for joining me on the channel here and we'll, you know of course we'll have we'll have trevor uh, trevor back here again real real soon and you know to do some other fun stuff and again you know with the rest of the play group so uh thank you so much for watching guys make sure you like and uh, comment on the video if you enjoyed it and let me know what you think let me know again what was that moon eating dog where is that from I, I mean i don't even know how i'll be able to look that up actually i do know how i look that but anyway the point is i want to hear what you think <laughs> and um yeah just comment oh and there goes the the camera again but um and then you know of course check out the description below for all the social links and all that stuff including the discord link and come and hang out with us so guys but i'm gonna go ahead and end this stream or end this end this uh video right now see my old my old uh streaming has come back up old you know habits. old habits yeah i'm gonna end the stream you know thank you chat <laughs> anyway guys that's it for me angry iceberg and trevor we'll see you next video